learning disabilities are real. It's a real thing. And I wanted to make this video because I think maybe a lot of people might not be convinced that it's a real thing or that it has an effect on people's ability to learn. Now, I'm not an expert when it comes to learning disabilities, and I, and I don't make many videos on learning disabilities, but I wanted to make this one because I think it'll help two types of people. It'll help people who maybe have a learning disability or feel like they might have one, and two, it might help teachers who are new to teaching or who might have mixed thoughts about learning disabilities. So I'm going to start this video with a very true story that is personal that I experienced when I first started teaching many, many years ago. It's been well over a decade now. I taught for many years. And it's a story that opened my eyes to learning disabilities. So I was teaching a college algebra class, which historically has always been a very fun class for me to teach. I love teaching college algebra because it's a class where the students come in and this is going to sound bad, but they struggle. And it's a class where I struggled. I took college algebra and as a student, I struggled a lot with logarithms. I got to be in the class and it was such a struggle for me. It ruined my 4.0. College algebra was the class that destroyed my 4.0. And that's why I love it in some sense. It was such a challenge for me. It's kind of weird. And teaching it, I see the students and I see the students struggle just like I did. And I guess I can relate to the students and I kind of feel their pain. And so I love teaching it. Anyways, I digress. Learning disabilities. So I had a student in this class. Uh, it was a female student. I remember she had long blonde hair and she sat on the right side of the classroom. I don't remember her name kind of shy. She took the first test and she got like a 50 something on the first test. And I was like, whoa, really bad, right? Now on the first test, the grades are mixed in college algebra. There's a lot of students that do bad, you know, usually like five or six that don't do great at all. Uh, they'll fail the test. Uh, then you'll get a couple B's and C's and then a ton of A's, at least in my class, it was like, you know, 10, 15 A's, lots of really good grades. Uh, but then some bad ones too, you know, good, a good mix. Overall, the class average is pretty good and that's typically how college algebra goes. So her, her bad grade was certainly not unusual to me. I wasn't like surprised by her performance or anything like that. Like, oh, she failed, this is terrible. No, no, it happens. You know, students have a bad test. Also the final exam replaces the lowest score. So I didn't really think anything of her bad grade. So then she approached me in my office hours and there was no one there at the time and she came into my office and it's good that there was no one there because she told me that she had a learning disability and I said well that's great now her disability was one where all she needed to do was basically take the test in a proctored environment so that she could have additional time on the test so double time okay so twice as much time as the rest of the class and I said, okay, that's great. You can have that. And she came back, uh, I think a week later, and there's a paper I had to sign. Uh, usually there's a paper that teachers have to sign, uh, you know, stating that the student has a disability. I'm gonna turn here, because there's a car behind me. I'm gonna try to uh, let them pass. And I signed the paper. And so the second test came around And she took it in the testing center with the double time, which she needed. And I honestly, I honestly didn't think it would make a difference because she turned in the test fairly early. She was done in like 30 minutes and the class was 65 minutes, no, 75 minutes, hour and 50 minutes, uh, twice a week. So I didn't think it would matter. I, I thought, well, how is this going to help this girl? You know, she got a 50 something on the first test. She finished the test in 30 minutes. How is having two and a half hours on the test going to provide any value to the student? And so I questioned it. 
you know, here's this piece of paper which says she gets double time because she has a disability. I was like, this is not gonna help her, no way. She took the second test and she got an A. And I could not believe it, I was blown away. And I remember thinking, wow, this is a real thing. Like, for some reason, this student, when she's in the classroom and she's taking the test, she can't perform. But you put her in a testing center, you give her twice as much time and she gets an A. Whereas in the class, 30 minutes, she finished in 30 minutes and she failed. Didn't make any sense to me. And I guess it has to do with her specific learning disability, which I don't know what it is or anything. I, I don't even think that information is revealed to me. All I see is, you know, the student's name and some information about, you know, what accommodations I'm supposed to give them as a professor, right? So it's a real thing. It's a real thing. So if you're watching this video and, and you have a learning disability, just know it's okay and it's real and hopefully whatever school you're at, you know, there's some accommodations that can help you and, and they might help you, right? They might. I'm, there's no guarantee, but this is a good example of a situation where it did help and I, and I was blown away. I was just totally blown away because I didn't really have any teaching experience with students who have learning disabilities. This is my first real, or one of my first, wasn't my first, one of my first real experiences with students with learning disabilities and one where I just thought that, I didn't think that her having extra time was going to have any impact at all. And it's not like she cheated or anything, right? This is, this takes place in a testing center. They have cameras everywhere. There's proctors. I mean, it's a stressful situation going to a testing center. It's not fun. So if you're a teacher and you're watching this, um, just know that sometimes, sometimes it does help the students. And I, from that point on, there was no doubt in my mind whenever a student had a disability, I was like, well, hey, maybe this will help them. <laughs> so, right. I don't know much about disabilities, but that extra time helped. My, my theory, I do have a theory about this. My, my theory is that the testing center might have provided a more controlled, quiet environment. I mean, my classroom is pretty quiet during a testing situation. You know, I make sure people aren't talking. I look around the room. I make sure they're not cheating. So, so yeah, maybe, maybe it was even quieter and more controlled uh, in the testing environment. In the classroom, people get up and turn in their tests that, or people get up and ask me questions. So there is some chitter chatter. There is some talking. There is some more noise in the classroom uh, compared to the testing center. So that could have been, uh, that could have been what was going on. There's a, there's a traffic incident up here. There's a one lane road up ahead and I'm getting um, traffic on my GPS. But yeah, so learning disabilities are a real thing. That's the key takeaway. If you have one, it's okay. Uh, hopefully you get accommodations. And if you're a teacher and you have students, respect their accommodations. Um, again, it's not something I know a lot about, but I have seen them help students. And this is just one instance, right? So time and time again, I have seen learning, students with learning disabilities and I have seen these accommodations help them. Anyways, found any value in this content, hit subscribe. And as always, if you want to learn math, check out my courses, mathsolicitor.com. Until next time, keep doing math.